So we are in Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where, where are we going, Matthew? Where are we going? Spain. Spain. Yes, we're getting the ferry to Spain. Matthew's very excited. So we're getting Brittany ferries, uh, Galicia to Santander. So um, we're going to do a review on on that, and I think that's the same ferry as the Santona and the Salamanca. The only difference is that the uh, Galicia is diesel powered, and the other two are powered by gas. So we're going to go and have some food in. Um, Pizza Express first, and then uh, we're going to get on our way to the ferry. Are you in the holiday mood, Matthew? What are you looking forward to most when you go to Spain? Swimming pool in the sea. Swimming pool in the sea? Ah. What are you most looking forward to? Swimming in the sea. Mm. I'm looking forward to having some beer and wine. Finally, food is here. Matthew, how's your pasta? Is it nice? How's your pizza? Mm. Right, we've got about 45 minutes until we've got to be at the port. So we're in the queue for check-in um, at Brittany Ferries in Portsmouth. And I'm pretty sure I might have said we're going to Santander earlier, but we're going to Balbao. Santander's on the way back, so yeah, not a very big queue. We've just joined the queue and uh, we're only about two cars away, so we'll uh, take some video once we get on, once we're going on to the ferry, I think. There's our ferry, and we're getting on. going up and turning round to get off the other side. Different to the other one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit different to that one. Purple stairs, that's what and we got up to our... There is a lift there too. And it's bigger. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it seems bigger. Okay, fourth one from the back the end. Oh look Matthew, Matthew. Look, there's some old ships over there, look as well, look over here. What are you doing? 
thing. Easy access to the cabin. Here's our room. It's actually got four berths, but we only need three. Window. It's Matthew. And our bathroom well, let's with a shower. Hey. Nice and clean. Yeah. And then yeah, there's the door and there's a, a little area for hanging your clothes. Why is my bed so messy? Because you made it messy. Having a relax at the end of the boat. Oh there's the tower there look. Spinnaker Tower that we were earlier for dinner. It's the Santona ship that we're coming back on. Very annoying. We're sitting here nice and peacefully. Got our own little spot sun setting and the car alarms keep going off it's like dogs as soon as one goes off they all go off I'm sure someone's gonna uh, surely they'll say something over the tannoy because apparently you can hear it from the cabins the piece is shattered Nice view though. So we had to cut, cut the uh, sitting on the deck a bit short because Matthew was very tired and uh, he's fast asleep now. Got my wine. And we are watching a movie. Not the biggest TV in the world, but um, some pretty good films on there, some 2023 films as well. So I'll go through the video on demand, but it's pretty good. Get some quite a selection. I'm not really sure how many are on there, probably 50, 60, 70 movies. And uh, it looks like there was some, some other stuff on there, series and stuff. So pretty good, but we'll go through that tomorrow maybe. So something to pass the time away anyway so for now i'm just gonna enjoy my wine cindy's gone to go and get some snacks and it's just getting dark out there so see you in the morning it's a quarter past 11 in the evening come out for a sneaky whiskey no one really around, so it's not bad. T-shirt on. So now I can relax after that three hour drive from North London down to Portsmouth. <coughs> A3 was closed, M25 was bad. Uh, now I'm relaxing. It's the next morning now. We're on our way to breakfast. Here's the bar on deck eight. <clears throat> and we're gonna go through to the tapas, taberna, I think, taberna de tapas, which is where we're having breakfast. It's just up there.
one of the play areas. A bit gloomy out there today. Matthew, you can play games on here. Hey, look. I did it. I did it, Daddy. What did you do? This. I did it all by myself. I won. Look. Oh, yeah. And look. Look. Do you want to see a cool trick? Look. What this does. Quick, there's more coming. There's oh, more, quick. Land the other ones. It's gonna come down. Come down. Hey look, you have to land it where it says on the There's a helicopter. There's a helicopter. Oh look how you do it, Matthew, look. look. You ready? Ready? Here we go. Breakfast. They got a children's breakfast as well. <laughs> got here nice and early. Thank you. Breakfast is served. some dinner at the Azure restaurant which is one of two there's the La Tapas one and the Azure we were lucky enough that uh, we booked before December 2022 so we got the free meal um, but after that you have to pay for everything so uh, so we'll go and see what it's like and uh, take you along with us They are all from the plane. They are. See, I had the high five. Sitting down in the um, Azura restaurant. Very good meal. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice in here, so see what comes. What are you having for dessert, Matthew? Ice cream. Ice cream. So it looks like we might be swapping. I heard her say, that's us. 
Yeah. Mm hmm? Uh, just back from uh, dinner and that was really good. We only end up having to pay at Euro 30 I think it was, which was for the drinks, which was my wine, uh, a water and orange juice for Matthew, so pretty good value. Uh, if you do pay, uh, which you do, we would have to if you're booking from after December 2022, then um, it's uh, 20 euros I think for one course, 25 for two courses or 30 euros for three courses, so it's not bad at all. Um, but yeah, really good. I ordered the lamb, Cindy had the pork, she decided to swap, and Matthew had a burger and chips. Didn't come with a bun, which was a bit strange. Um, uh, the I think there was chicken nuggets and a few other things on the kids menu as well. So, uh, dessert, I had the panna cotta, Cindy had the cheese, she never orders cheese and then decided she didn't want the cheese so again we had to swap but it was all really good so it's our last night and uh, it's getting a bit dark now it's ship time is just five to eight it's actually five to nine spanish time so we're landing at eight o'clock tomorrow morning so we're going to watch a movie and um, have a good night's sleep hopefully so see you in the morning and we've arrived in Balbao. It's uh, half past seven local time and we've just come through into the port area. So really good second night, very smooth and uh, yeah, have a look. Did you have a good night? So that's it, we're in the car waiting to get off. And yeah, so like I said earlier, it's been a really good trip. A uh, few things, make sure you've brought enough snacks, I reckon, isn't it? Because um, yeah, the, the shop's not really open that much. And you, if you want to try and get snacks like chocolate or that from the bar, it's quite expensive. So make sure you bring enough snacks. And anything else that we found? Run the shower slowly, otherwise the whole bathroom gets completely wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have the have the shower on full pelt, it just it just floods the whole thing. It's not really a big problem, but um, if you want to go back in there after with socks on, then uh, you can't. So, but now apart from that, it was a really good trip, and uh, really recommend it. Entertainment was excellent with uh, for the children and. Um, not not that much in the way of play areas for for kids, but um, it's only only a whole day or day and a half if you're going back the other way in terms of daytime, so not too bad. But um, next trip is going back from Santander to Portsmouth in, in a few weeks, uh, and that is on the Santona, I think. So I will do a, a little review on that one as well. All right, until the next time. Bye. Line up a nice straight single file line. And grown ups, if you see your little ones lining up, make sure that you do have your cameras at the ready. Wild boy, does the does the uh, the, the wording of the outfit match the child? Yes. Yes. That's Matthew, and he is indeed wild. Fair enough. Bang on! Well done, Shane. Can't even remember my own kid's name. <laughs> I ain't got kids. Give us a chair! <laughs> okay, so boys and girls, give us a chair if you've played Mario Kart before. <laughs> give us a chair if you've never played Mario Kart before. Yeah. <laughs> the little tiny baby child who's not actually signed up to the competition. Right. Oh.
Boys and girls, this is going to be an elimination based tournament, okay? We're going to have our group stage, our quarterfinals, our semi-finals, and finally our grand final, which will be taking place tonight, right here as part of our live entertainment tonight in the bar, in front of a live studio audience. Studio audience, give us a cheer! Yay! Nice one, studio. You've got coming now. Don't care if you don't, don't care if you book dinner eight o'clock. You're coming, boys and girls. So get ready to rock and roll. Our first races in heat number one. Currently in the lead at the moment is Caden. That's right, we have a taser. Here we go, we'll try again. Here we go, ready? Ready? James, James, music, music, music. Here we go. Here we go. Give it up for your host, the fabulous Mr. Shane Barry, the Crowbell Wild! Who would like to play some games? I'll cheer for him. It's Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Oh, oh hang on. Mum and Dad are recording. You go that side. There we go. Is that good enough for you? Is that the best angle? There we go. Yeah, tag me, tag me. So, Matthew, how old are you? Oh, he's four! And where are you from, Matthew? Do you know? Yeah. Are you going to tell us? No. Where are you from? Huddersfield. What's that? Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire. He didn't want to tell you because he didn't want everybody to know that he's a really posh child. Hertfordshire. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Bang! Hey, oh, that was cool. It's so cool, right? Mm. Right. As we know, boys and girls, the aim of musical statues is to remain very, 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 very still. In that one, they'll make your movements. Your grown-ups used to visit these magical places called nightclubs. <laughs> He's on it. Right, night clubs. And in the night clubs, grown ups used to do these special dance moves, yeah. Like, most dads know them. One is called the tractor driver. Come on, dad, show us the tractor driver. What other dad dancing moves is it? The helicopter? Oh, yeah. Put it in the shopping trolley. Push the shopping trolley. Stuff like Ah, one hey, stand up everybody, on your feet, on your feet, on your feet, well done, well done. Right, so, when we're playing our games and doing our dancing, we need to do it on the dance floor, which is the wooden bit, boys and girls, you need to stand on the wooden bit, so everybody spread out, there's plenty of space, there's plenty of space. We can't everybody, have everybody dancing down here like it's a mosh pit, because if someone falls over and hurts themselves, I've got to fill out a form. And see, James, in fact, I need your help to demonstrate, can you come up here, please, James? Come on up here, James, give that for James, ladies and gentlemen, well done, hello, James, right. Right, when music's playing, you're gonna dance just like James. Go! <laughs> Give him a clap, I'm done. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. When the music stops playing, you're gonna freeze in your most super cool pose like this. Freeze! Bang! And another one. Go! Bang! And then... Here we go. Wiggle those fingers in the air like this. Wiggle them around, wiggle them around, wiggle them around, wiggle them around. Point to the DJ box. And we've got to get the attention of our superstar DJ, DJ James. So you need to say, DJ James! Now you've got to be loud on the night because DJ James is nearly 70 years old, Oi. boys and girls. Now you can do it, now you can do it. Freeze! Oh, wait again! Oh, he's playing with you now. Hello, what's your name? My name's Dave. What? You're Dave? <laughs> yeah, I'm Dave. How old are you, Dave? I'm 37. You're 37? Where are you from? I'm from Manchester. <laughs> you from Manchester? Yeah, and I'm a builder. <laughs> You're a builder? You have fun at work? Yeah, I just stand there for seven hours. <laughs> oh, you moved. Well, he did. He did. He moved. <laughs> hmm.